Hello and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with with a Disability Policy for All. I am very happy to welcome Oregon State Senator Sarah Gal Sir Corbello from Corbello, Oregon. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us, Sarah. Thanks for having me. Um, first of all, thank you for all your work and being one of our key speakers at the AUCP conference. We're very happy to have you. That was so much fun. The first question is, how did you become a disability, um, disability advocate? So uh, my first child was born with a disability, and so he basically introduced me to the world of disability and all sorts of wonderful adults and children, self-advocates, parents, and leaders, and it is a wonderful community to be part of. And uh, I've been doing this for about 22 years now and have loved every minute of it. So your son is 22? He will be 22 two weeks from yesterday. Okay, great. Thank you. The, the next question is, I do need to say you have a son. Mm -hmm. um, what is your dream for him? So my dream for Sam is the same as my dream for his three sisters, which is that he is able to build a meaningful life with work that makes him excited to get up every day, that he finds friends and loved ones to surround himself that make him feel valued and, and happy, and that he contributes to his community and gives back to other people. That's what we all would like. Yep. It should not be any different for people with disabilities. Absolutely. How can we best support other families to become advocates and support the advocacy of their children? I think it's really important when uh, parents welcome a child with a disability into their family that they have mentors around them that have been through that process. And those mentors, of course, should be parents of children with disabilities, but they also should be adults with disabilities. I think it's very important for uh, parents to start with a, a dream for their kids that ends with the idea of this small human growing up to be a fully independent adult that makes their own choices. I also think the most important thing, and it's really unfortunate how often it doesn't happen, that a a parent is at the hospital, their child is born. The most important thing you can say to any parent with any child is congratulations on your beautiful baby. And you are the expert on your child and together you're gonna to build a great family and a great life. And to just keep telling people that over and over again. You. Is there anything else that you would like to talk about, about being a state senator, being a mom? Um, you know, uh, being a mom is a lot of fun. Being a state senator is also a lot of fun. I think it is really important uh, to increase the diversity of elected officials that we have. Uh, women, we need far more women, we need far more young women, and we need more people of color, and we need people with disabilities. More people with disabilities serving in elected office. So you should run. Um, anybody that's watching this, whether you're a parent advocate or a person with a disability, consider yourself asked. Thank you. If you have any, any questions about this or any other policy issues, please go to the AUCD webpage and look for this week's in break. And if you have any questions about this week's Tuesdays with Liz, please leave them in the space. Well, thank you and have a nice day. Thanks again, Senator Glacier. Thank you, Liz. It was nice to see you. Okay. Bye.